Okay, Private, let's proceed with the reconnaissance. Bring it around the building there. Aye, aye, Captain. This is the army, Private, not the Pirates of the Caribbean. Don't say that shit. Yes, my lord. Engage. We're going to jump right into this one today so I can save you guys some time. I'll just quickly say that if you are new to my channel, check out my other videos after this and consider subscribing. So I got inspired by this after seeing a travel film by Ben TK called A Story in Hong Kong City. I decided to throw my own little twist on it and show you guys how to do it. So with filming, you will film two shots with your drone. The first shot will be you flying up to a building. I started at my friend's apartment window and I flew backwards so I was able to get closer and then just ended up reversing it in post. The second the second shot is your drone pretending to fly out of the other side. This one is fairly easy. You could, uh, to be honest, fly out from anywhere. From this part where you go through the building, I grabbed a stock clip from Pond 5 of a just a stabilized POV walk down a hallway. You can go to a hotel or an apartment building and film this yourself though. So the first thing we're going to do is reverse that first clip of the drone so it appears like we are flying into the building. Because the stock clip I bought doesn't end at the window, I use the transform tool to scale it up at the end. I made sure to press keyframes where I wanted it to start getting bigger and where I wanted it to end to be, I just adjusted. I did this so I get a little bit closer to the door. If you guys get a little bit closer to the exit point in this middle shot, what you can do is actually mask out the window or the door to transition to that last shot instead of just exploding it like I did. I did a tutorial on how to create these little doors and entrances which I will link in the description below. The next thing we will do is speed up the clips so that they seamlessly flow from one one part to the next. We will do this by pressing shift B where we want to start speeding up and adjust by pulling the slider. Next what I did is added a zoom effect to the first two clips. I did not add too much because we will be placing a motion blur plugin over top of all the footage at the end of the editing process so I didn't want to overdo it. By the way this zoom effect is a stock Final Cut Pro effect so everyone should have it. After this I started adding a lot of overlays to really sell the whole thing. My favorite site to get visual effects and overlays from is called footagecrate.com. This video is not sponsored by them. I just absolutely love what they have on there. So for the first impact of the drone smashing through the glass, I downloaded some window breaking effects. And since we are flying through the glass at high speeds, I sped up the overlays. I used the transform tool to scale up the glass breaking so it appears like we really are moving past it. And I added a slight blur on them since no drone camera would pick up glass breaking in that detail. The missile took a little bit more more finessing. Once again, I downloaded it from footagecrate.com and since it only ever floats next to the camera, I needed to make it look like it was shooting off down the hallway. So what I did here was find the point where I wanted it to blast off. I hit the transform tool and the keyframe button. I found the frame where I wanted the missile to explode and I dragged that missile to the area in the shot where I wanted it to explode. You'll notice that there are really hard edges on the bottom right corner of the missile because of the position of the effect. So I used a shape mask to feather it a little bit. You can also use a graduated mask as well. I also added a directional blur so when it starts to move down that hallway it has some natural cinematic motion blur to it. After this I added a couple more VFX to the missile and the hallway shot. I added a shockwave effect which to me looks like something breaking the sound barrier. Kind of that poof thing that you see when a plane breaks the sound barrier. I don't know the scientific term for it. I also added an explosion to simulate the missile really taking off and picking up speed, and lastly, the final explosion when it hits the wall. For all of these effects, I used the transform tool, pressed my keyframes, and scaled them larger so it appears like we are moving past them or closer to them. I also added a Gaussian blur on these overlays so they are not too crisp. With the final shot, I wanted the drone camera to be really messed up, so I added some graphic overlays from footagecrate.com like a broken glass overlay and two graphics that appear like a dirty scratched lens. These last two graphics are subtle, but for the cracked glass, it really is defined, and that is not how it would look if you're looking through a drone camera. So what I did was added a, another Gaussian blur onto this, and I changed the amount to find what I thought looked suitable. To really make everything look like it's moving fast, I added some motion blur from a pack I purchased from Mark Webster. It is extremely render heavy, so I usually wait till the end of my editing process to put it over the footage. I will put the link in the description below so you guys can check that out. Lastly, I topped it off with some quality sound effects to really 
sell everything. I added obviously a drone sound effect as well as an airplane engine sound effect and some wind for the aerial craft. I added glass breaking for the first entrance point and a couple different explosions as well as a missile launch for the exit point. And that's about it guys. I realize you probably won't make this exactly the same way I did, but just seeing how you can create something like this in Final Cut Pro I think is pretty useful. If you stuck with me this long, let me know what you thought about this little scene I created and make sure to press the thumbs up button. I will see you guys next week. Have a great weekend.